G'day everyone, so we thought we'd give you a quick tour around the trailer now we've been on the road for almost seven months Show you some of the modifications that we've done and how we kind of live in our little towable house So I'll take you start at the front So at the front we've got the toolbox where we just keep the jerry cans, the gas bottle and extra bits of firewood that we chop uh, Added on this tube, we keep our fishing rods in there and also added on the second tap uh, That's been a real lifesaver because the tap at the back did actually break at one point uh, we've upgraded to Super Peg aluminium poles that saves us about 28 kilos all over. Other couple of quick changes added these extra guide ropes just to stop the windows from blasting around um, and upgraded to their XO750 jockey wheel. Uh, we've run 300 watts of solar through a Thunder 20, um, 20 amp uh, DC DC charger which has been working really well so we very very rarely have to go on shore power. And the final two changes at the front, uh, we swapped out the hitch, so we used the MC hitch and I added a breakaway controller because we are now rated to over two tons and that's a legal requirement in some states. Uh, coming down the side, we added in a hot water system. So we don't use it actually on the sink, but it's mainly for showers. So that's all fastened in. Obviously we've got um, the Weber and the camp, uh, camp oven, keep all our hoses and stuff in here. This is all on quick connections. So we just literally plug the hoses into the pump and it's good to go and then we have a second gas bayonet fitting at the front and that's again plug and play the next drawback is where we keep all the tools so i built these top drawers so we just keep all our bits and pieces in there um, in this side we can to kind of call it the shed um tools and all the tent accessories trailer accessories go in the bottom and then we have a pantry version on the uh, on the other side this one's just got the switches in controls everything we created a mount that holds the uh, porta potty when we're taking that around and that just straps down there's an extra box we keep all the camp chairs in this one and just unload it whenever we stop before we flick the rack we carry a 20 litre porta potty and we carry an extra 10 litre cassette just to spare an emergency and the other thing we fitted was these two large storage boxes one of them we just use for um, for food items that way we can kind of we can buy in bulk and carry more and then the other is just for extra storage so things like spare gas canisters for the um, for the jet boil we keep the kids snorkels and stuff in there as well and then last but not least is the pole tube down the bottom so it's a krs pole tube and we keep all the annex poles in this one and the window ones we store inside the trailer when it's set down coming around the back big shout out to my mate phil um, he helped us do some welding and extend out the rear bar so we brought it out about 25 centimeters that's allowed us to put on an extra jerry can which we use for um, for water, specifically for, for the shower. So all four of us now can actually have a, have a nice hot shower out of 20 litres, we've become pretty efficient. The toolbox that we mounted on, that's uh, additional extra storage because these trailers are really shy on storage. We mounted some eye bolts. These were actually for putting the tinny on originally, but because we didn't bring the tinny on this trip, um, we just use them again with some, some guide ropes for securing the windows. The rear windows here have pole systems, but we've never used it in seven months. The only time we ever um, put the windows out, we just use these little stainless steel hooks. They've been working a treat for us. Um, obviously, we've got the wheel bag and our super slick pool noodle storage. Three bungees just holding those on. One other addition that we put in, which I can't um, shout enough praise for, is the muck mat. It's been super useful, especially on the sand. Kids can just brush their feet off, climb inside the trailer, and then when we're finished with it at the end of the day and we pack up, you literally just shake the dirt out of it and away you go. It's been awesome. So on this side, we added a switch for the light so we can flick that on and off because it doesn't come with one. It's a bit of annoyance. Um, and then as far as the trailer itself goes, we're on the second set of tyres. Um, underneath, structurally, we've changed the suspension. So that's on Lovell's, um, a Lovell's kit, and it's worked really well. Um, since we put it on that, it tows like it's on rails now. Just coming down this side, as I mentioned from the opposite side, this is our pantry storage. We just keep all our staples in here, pots, pans, plates, etc. And then the other drawer that we built at the top. That just houses um, eggs, tuna, bowls, the jet boil, etc. And the other cheeky little addition I did is I actually put some aluminium angle just down in these trays here so we can carry spare poles in the side without having to take up lots of extra space. And the last cupboard is our fridge. So in here we've got a, a 75 litre Waco CFX, which has worked really well. We use it 99% of the time as uh, two dual zone fridges. We just keep all the other staples down the sides, so cereal, oil, that kind of thing. So that's the outside, I'll take you inside.
So it's rated as a four berth trailer. So we've got a double bed at the front that's permanent. Then we have the kids' beds at the back. This also converts into a lounge. We don't really do that unless we're um, being forced inside out of the weather. We have table and chairs and we tend to eat outside our fresco all the time. Um, it's got 240 connected into it. So when we're on shore power, we've got 240 in here. And then in terms of storage, there's a big storage bin down here where we keep all the kids' games. Um, we actually took the drawer out. That's now a false um, false um, plate. And then there's another box just down here where we keep all the linen and spare bedding, etc. In terms of keeping hot and cold, we just have, um, obviously, dunas and extra blankets for the cold weather. But we do have a 12-volt ceiling fan, um, which we just connect up to the roof. And then it plugs in and we run it off one of the light switches. So that's the tour of our tiny little house. Thanks. And that's swimming around.